Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, we once again find ourselves this week out here on Revan Tuli Coast in the Hunter Call of the Wild. The makers of the game, Expansive Worlds, had some big news this week. So I got to sit down with the community manager for Expansive Worlds, Jaxie Beard, and uh, had the privilege to interview him. No. No, that's not what happened. This is my fake interview with, with Jaxie to let him tell you what's coming up with Expansive Worlds and uh, with, with this game this week. Go figure. <laughs> In one hand, he held destruction. You're living in the world. So I moved over here to my duck spot. Um, everybody get Chance to look at it down here. It's, it's just crazy nuts. Okay, so uh get a shot off here, maybe. Wow. Not bad. Not bad. Better not have done with the shotgun in a while. All right, Jaxie, thank you for your time. Appreciate you. Um, so, I heard there's a brand new reserve coming. Want to tell us about it? You never get tired of that view. With the colors of the autumn leaves and the Appalachian Mountains. There's no other place quite like it. Welcome to New England Mountains. Up everybody, good morning, hello and welcome. Yeah. Little teaser trailer going down for you guys today. Was that not a bit of a surprise? What do you think? Unbelievable what we have coming in here to the coming in hot to the under call of the wild. There is tons of stuff to go over, you and we're gonna do that today. That. We're gonna take our time and go through the, the new features, the what you can expect, the choices that it's it's mind blowing. It Let's is. go one more time with that little teaser trailer. As you can see, we are getting New England Mountains as our next reserve here in the Hunter Call it's of the Wild, and it you. is absolutely loaded. Let's leaves. start from the top. We're gonna go through something that our team has prepared and and I, I have to admit it made my goosebumps stand on end. The New England Mountains are calling. Expansive Worlds is excited to invite hunters to explore the peaks of the New England Mountains, a new Alpine Reserve, and the latest DLC for the Hunter Call of the Wild. Coming soon to PC via Steam, Epic Games Store, Microsoft Store, as well as on PlayStation and Xbox. Uh, you can expect it to be our usual price, depending where you are. Uh, it's about s between six and seven dollars. I think it's seven ninety nine euros. Uh, and uh, the New England Mountains Reserve gives hunters the chance to explore, relax in, in stunning surroundings. As you've seen, you get to hunt for three great ones on this map. There has obviously been some strong consideration for all types of players here, including. Are you ready for this? The old new moose great one, my friends. That is right. We heard you. It took time, but we heard you. And the response was undeniably one of the most requested great ones to come to the game. We got giant meese, baby. Well, uh, what animals are going to be on the new reserve? Just give us a little taste of that. we look at as far as species let's give you a quick rundown on what you can expect we are going to have the ring neck pheasant 
we're going to have the northern bobwhite quail just to add a little bit of difficulty in there the eastern wild turkey of course no map in the hunter call of the wild is going to be complete without some of our fowl we've got the golden eye and the mallard joining us along with the green wing teal the green wing teal they're just absolutely amazing looking uh we've got the eastern cottontail rabbits coming on in now uh we finally have another reoccurrence of our good friends the trash pandas the raccoons are going to join us on this one a common raccoon we've got coyotes gray fox and red fox on the map which is really going to mix things up as you can see there's a bit of a challenge here and we have the bobcat joining us pretty dang cool it's a nice lineup but to top that off, you have the white tail, black bear, and moose. So, uh, Jax, is there any new weapons coming out with this new, uh, new reserve? Thank you. I don't know if I should, uh, should I really go into this? Okay. There is a new weapon coming out. We'll go through, and we'll go through, and, you know, we're just going to go right to it. Take that in for a second. No, 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 just take that in for a second. The Kerman F50 Cal is a modern inline muzzle loading rifle barreled in the ever popular 50 caliber. It's the perfect firearm for hunters who want to both, who want both the added challenge of taking game with a muzzle loader and the safety and comfort features of a modern firearm. Come on, man. Come on. I have loved our muzzleloader since it first came to the game. Uh, and, and by popular demand, we have our next iteration. Uh, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. I can't wait to see what everybody does with this. Um, it, it's, it's really, there's, there's just man alive. Uh, now, I haven't picked it up. I should have actually right there. Let's go in. Um, it's just oh, it's free grab it this is that gonna be free is that gonna actually be free with this hold on i thought okay i may have i i thought i was on top of everything so we may in fact actually be getting that for free let's just throw it in our hands and take a look at it um we've got a, a heck oh so the last time i was on this build you can see what we were doing <laughs> All right, let's grab this bad boy um, and take a look and see. I do believe, and I didn't check. I, I didn't actually check this. I think the mini ball, I think those are going to work with it. And I do believe that uh, there's options. I'm not entirely positive on this one. We're going to find out together here, my friends. Change that over. Let's drop that on that line. Let's go with uh, no. So there is new ammo with it. I never got. To, I never got to fire this. The Hyperion is low nano because it is modern. Uh, so let's let's see what do we got for the ammo. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh, and I can't wait to pull the trigger on this one. Um. So, uh, is it the is is this what we're looking at? Is this is this our new? Hmm. Sabbat bullet? Sabbat bullet. Okay, so this is kind of... Interesting. I, I, I really like the uh, black powder we have in the game now, although in real life I have a modern inline that I use. Uh, so this would be very interesting for me. Appreciate that. So, um, Jax, I hear the dev team is, the dev team is backfilling uh, all the older reserves in the game we already have with new animals. What can you tell us about that? So I can read the confirmed list um and 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 this is omitting srp right now because as i mentioned the blacktail just won't fit there i'm sorry i know some of you are disappointed in that 
um you know we'll uh we'll see what we can make happen here and what other options there are the team may well yet add something in its place but we'll start at the top okay so ringneck pheasant are coming to Hirschfelden and to Quattro Kalinas. I know Pheasant's been a big request on Hirschfelden. We have the Merriam Turkey on Leighton Lakes. We have almost all turkeys in all turkey species in game now. We're almost there. We've got the Grey Wolf and Keeper Cali coming to Medved. Now, in development build, placeholders, that's why the Bobcat is showing up is it but that hey this is that we're sharing early so you have to expect that <laughs> this is how developers work they put something in place until it's changed um so that's what's coming to medved and i think that's really going to elevate medved having the wolves over there i know some folks like doe slayer are super excited about it um and then we have the eurasian widgeon coming to verhunga savannah so the initial design was perhaps to bring the greater kudu in uh, there wasn't enough bandwidth to design that. It would have been an entirely new model. It's not a matter of just stretching out the existing. Um, so the, uh, the and, and you know, there's possibilities in the future without confirming or denying. Uh, but the decision was made that there, there, there wasn't enough time to do this right. So the, uh, the widgeon is what's coming to Verhunga Savannah. And it is the Eurasian widgeon that migrates through there. Uh, the colored peccary are coming to Parquet Fernando just to give you a little something else to dodge out of the way from it. <laughs> Parquet is going to get a little love. Canada Goose coming out to Yukon Valley, which uh, will be a lot of fun. It's a good map for getting out on the foul. Now we're going to have the geese there, which is kind of cool. AKA, um, you know, murder chickens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, if you've ever ran into the IRL, you know what I'm talking about. Mallards are coming to T. Aurora. New Zealand's getting some love. Pronghorn coming to Rancho Hotel Arroyo. And I, I, I gotta tell you, I think that's one of my favorite additions. Um, I, I really like the pronghorn over on SRP. So pretty cool to see them coming over to Mexico. And then we got the green wing teal going over to Mississippi Acres. Now, of course, I can't tell you with a certainty what the plan is down the line, but the, the idea behind this is the team wanted to start and get some of the animals that are already in the game um, to flesh out other reserves that would have those animals in those areas. Interesting. Interesting. Um, you know, uh, I hear the moose are getting a lot of love in this update. Could you go into some detail? Else for the uh, for the moose? Well, there is a lot of changes on the moose. Uh, I would love to be able to get one to go aggressive and to get after it. And we'll see what happens with that. Because if you haven't heard, that's one of the big changes in this update. Uh, is moose got some love and they now go aggressive. They have a very good chance to. Now there's a balance there. Uh, there is a balance, <laughs> and I've seen that balance play out, and uh, I think it's in a pretty good place right now. Moose now have the opportunity to become aggressive, and it is something else. That first time a moose charges you, you'll know all about it. Okay, let's go ahead and let him turn. Uh, there's been a lot of love that has gone into this. You guys will see it. Oh, baby. Look at the fur. Look at that. Oh, did I just bugger that? <laughs> What are we charging? Is someone charging? Oh, here it is. Are we doing this? Um, okay, ma'am. Uh, you no. Do it, <laughs> Oh, she's eyeballing me. Okay, listen, 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 listen. Oh, that's not gonna do it. You're still not having any of this. Okay. Okay. You're going to have to lay down, ma'am. They are so incredibly unpredictable now. We took a shot on a bull and this cow said, Nuh uh, my boy Bob ain't going down like that. <laughs> that was awesome. Um,. Jason, we have another round of, of population resets coming up. You know they're not real popular with, with the folks. Uh, can you tell us, is it going to be for every species, again, like it was last time? Or, if not, what do we need them for? 
So with all of these additions to the animals, with the addition of the new Great One Moose, but I'm just going to keep throwing that out there for any that have missed it. Um, we have uh, we do have some resets coming in, but they're not population resets for the whole reserve. They're specific to these animals. And let me explain a few of them and why they're happening. Moose on Leighton, Medved, Yukon, and Finland. Obvious reasons. They need a reset. They're going to have great ones bumping elbows and, and pulling beards. And oh my goodness, can we just get after them already? I can't wait to st I, I can't wait to show you. Can I show them? Can I show... Meg, are you here? I need backup, Meg. <laughs> I need backup. We gotta do it. We gotta get. We gotta get something out. Other picks so bad. Um, the Iberian mouflon on Quattro Kalinas are getting some love and need a reset. Uh, so again, not the whole reserve. And then um, the uh, mountain lions on Silver Ridge Peaks. Uh, I think I understand that. I understand that, Jackson. I understand why that would be. So. Uh... Yeah, there's a rumor that this update has something very, very, very special for all of our in-game weapons we already have. Is it a secret? Can you tell us? Are you ready? Are you guys ready? Some of you might have caught this already. Let's freaking go, baby! This, with everything else coming to the game, is super impressive. It is. It's, look at these options. I knew you guys were going to love this. I just knew. We have options to paint, to spray. We have material. We have camo. We have wraps. And for all of our creators out there, like, I can't even contain this, man. For all of our creators, imagine how great it's going to be showing this off when a new weapon comes to the game when you want to focus a video when you want to hang out with your friends and throw up a stream in discord and say check this bad boy out let's go baby let's go i i just can't even <sighs> I, this is my favorite feature this really is like it, it's there's just oh good god so now there's gonna be um there's gonna be lots of options with this and we're gonna give you more details and we're gonna go explore this next week this is more a teaser i'm not gonna show you everything it can do but i'll give you as we say you've got multiple selections on where you can put different materials camos wrap sprays paint whatever you want to do you can get a full overview and this opens the door for something truly special in the hunter call of the wild customization how you want to play it is not only for the seven millimeter <laughs> this is huge this is huge in the hunter call of the wild we actually now have the ability to add our own flair onto the weapons. And uh, I've had so many of you asking me, it's not just the rifles, it's not. So let's get into this. So it's pretty straightforward and kind of intuitive on how they've done it and you're, you're able to preview it all. So the first thing you gotta do is head into your storage, any weapon that you own. You can jump into, like, if I want to take this here hawk, hawk edge, I just hit my C button, and I can see what it's going to look like with the different skins and stuff. But that's not exactly what I want to show you right now. I want to go through some, because there's each weapon has different, um, what's the term? Quadrants? So let's go to one of, uh, uh, let's see. Well, hey, actually, you know what we'll find? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? I don't know where it is on the list yet. I've totally gone past it, haven't I? Oh, I was because I have it equipped. Let's take a look at the Kerman 50 in line. Now, this is pretty cool. Okay, if you're like me, I really like the muzzle loader in the game. Now we have a modern version you can equip the Hyperion on. Uh, it's got all kinds of new interactions, but we'll, we'll, we'll get into shooting that a little bit later. Let's take a look at some of the customization. Now, you'll see we have empty parts here part one part two part three now you can go into your camos you can go into your wraps you can go into the material whatever you want to do and you can preview what it's going to look like if if it accepts it if it so this one oh am i not able with that 
So you, you, it takes a little bit of playing around and the possibilities are absolutely mind blowing, right? I mean, what do you want to do? No longer will your weapon look the same as every other hunter out there. You can spend your money on this in, in game in game here um and there's uh there might even be some stuff coming down the line maybe we'll see you know themed events themed things i this opens the door for customizing greatness like i don't know man you could do it all you could do it all if you wanted in the one skin you can really play around with it isn't that isn't that just great wow that i'm gonna i'm really looking forward to that uh, you customize your own uh customize all your weapons what you want? Ah, that's that's in my heart right there. I love being able to customize. Customization, beautiful in a game. So, is there uh, anything else for the new update we should know about? Again, now you're, I think you're starting to see the nitty gritty on on what's been happening with this update, with this new reserve. We have some remastered animals coming with this update this is part of the granite update and this is pretty cool first off the red fox have got some love and uh i can't show you them today but i think you guys are going to be pretty happy with with from what i've seen um white-tailed deer yes you guys have absolutely spurred the team into motion whitetail have had a complete rework uh, and I, it's 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 being brought up to 2023 standards, and it's gonna make a big difference on the whitetail grinds. Uh, I, and I can't wait to start seeing the community post these out there. And with the addition of the new Great One Moose, yeah, in case you missed that Great One Moose, the Moose is also getting a ton of love. They're getting remastered. But wait. And this isn't in my notes. And I sure hope I'm allowed to reveal this. Moose will now go aggressive to be in line more with their real world habits. That's right. No longer will you have the docile, oh, I see you runaway moose happening. Moose will now go aggressive in the hunter call of a wild. Agro moose is right. Here, look at the fur. Because now we know if you've been watching and paid attention, there's some remastering that's happening happening right now in the game. And uh, this one's pretty cool. They look good. They look good. You know, this is all setting up for the great one moose, right? Like, look, look at that. Look at the. Can we still? I don't know why I do this every time. Oh, yeah, we can still... No, nothing's changed in there. We just I would not recommend that. But uh, it looks great, man. It does. It does. The fur, it's like... Rub her face in it. Let's see what sort of penetration we got with that. Let's take a look. Let's take a look. Well, no, hold on. This is... This is... This is different. Hold on a second. This is very different. Oh, my goodness. You're all, you're all seeing this, right? Everybody is seeing this, right? Okay. Okay. I, I am impressed. We have now a full screen. Oh my goodness. It really shows the animal. Okay. Okay. As I mentioned earlier, there's some things that I don't get to see until we're here now. <laughs> this is incredible. Okay, I, I, I like this change. I like this change. So with our last update, we saw an improvement to the visibility on this screen. Um, I, I'm curious if this is going to... Uh, I need to look into this. I, I, kudos, team. Kudos. Well done. This looks great. So we can go in and look at our, our true score. Gives us... Uh, I love that that's not clipping. This is maybe not, maybe not the best animal. <laughs> it's a little small, uh, but pretty cool, man. Pretty cool. Okay, I'm digging it. Yeah. All right. Whoa, baby, let's go. Look at that, my friends. Now, come on. <laughs> what do you think of that? 
we're uh we're getting this to get oh my goodness our all our content creators right now we're like my thumbnail game has just elevated <laughs> we can still swap to the x-ray view um we could uh we could zoom in and out and get a better look at the animal itself we, yeah that's pretty cool we can pan it around and change our positioning well done um jackson yeah thank you for your time appreciate you um even though you're not really here this is unofficial but still appreciate it is there a i'll give you the last word if you'd like to recap thank you and i want a chance to be able to recap um just to be able to cover this for those that are coming in for those of our creators who want to be able to present this so um with the addition of new england mountains we have the granite update alongside it now the granite update for some might be the star of the show uh this is bringing 60 fps to our very good friends on our next generation consoles such as the ps5 the xbox series x and s we are backfilling reserves uh with multiple species giving hunters plenty of reasons to revisit their old favorite spots in search of new prey um if you already have a previously released reserve you want to give your weapons a unique flavor well you're in luck because we're giving all hunters two themed cosmetics for each reserve with this launch which they already own one paint and one camo uh, this includes the two reserves in the base game so everybody gets a little something here uh, and and that's the granite update now with new england mountains we've loaded it up first and foremost you have an action-packed map with uh, a pretty cool rundown of species there's 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 well, let's just go through the list one one more time so everybody has the same info at hand. If I could just... Oh, my computer's causing me info. info, info it's causing me stress. Here we go. Coming to the reserve, you could expect the ringneck pheasants, the northern bobwhite quail, the eastern wild turkey, the golden eye, the mallards, green wing teal, eastern cottontail rabbits, the common raccoon, coyote, Red fox, gray fox, bobcats, white-tailed deer, black bear, and moose. Three great ones to scratch those grinders itch. <laughs> if you don't want to get involved in the grinds, let it happen naturally. You will have many opportunities to work over this map. Once again, a quick listing of the backfield animals because I know a lot of you are very excited about this. Hirschfeld gets the pheasants. Leighton gets the turkey. Medved Tiger gets the gray wolf and caper, cal caper callies. Africa is, and, and let me confirm on this one for next week. I'm going to stop right there um, because I actually have it on two lists and I know there were big considerations with this. Parkey's, Parquet, Par Parquet Fernando is getting the EU teal. Yukon Valley is getting the Canada goose. Quattro Colinas gets the ring neck pheasants. Silver Ridge Peaks is getting the black tailed deer. I'm really excited about that to get black tail and more Maps. We've got T.R. Aurora with the Mallards. Rancho del, del Aurora, Ar 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 Mexico is getting the Pronghorns. Mississippi gets the Green Wing Teal. And Finland, Revan Tuli is staying exactly as is uh, be because the map is just pretty fantastic and it's pretty new. We are getting the Grey Wolf over on Medved. We, um, I do have that on my list, God of Ender, but I want to confirm that because, you know, with everything, as everything is still, you know, even up till the certification, there's development happening. And I don't want to give any wrong information. And I noticed as I was reading the list that I, um, so I just, I'll, I will confirm next week what is coming to Verhunga, but there will be an addition. And it's, it's pretty, it is pretty exciting. Uh, I don't want to miss anything. You know, and there is so much to cover. Okay, so there is going to be certain resets of particular animals as you would expect. Obviously the moose. The moose on Leighton, Medved, Yukon, and Finland, uh, because obviously 
being moose maps, you will be able to hunt your great ones on any of these maps. The Iberian Mouflon on Quattro Colinas is undergoing a reset, and uh, the uh, Mountain Lions on Silver Ridge Peaks are also getting it. There will be a few minor changes to drink times for certain animals. Um, Lynx over on Medved Taiga will have a change. Bighorn Sheep on uh, Rancho Del Arroyo will also have a change. And uh, the Silver Ridge Peaks Mountain Lion is getting a change. And this will greatly alter your hunts over there. We heard you. Almost 100 meter shot. Not bad. Well, there you have it. The announcement of what's coming up in Daxy Beard's own words. It's saved me a lot of trouble from having to do it. So, you all take care. I'm going to continue on my duck hunt here. Here, ducky, 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 ducky. I'll be down to one three. Oh, there he goes. Come back here. Let's go change time. Make it daylight again. I'll see y'all later. This is a certified hood classic.